Okay, video number three from Mike. And this is probably the one that I'm most excited about because it's the collection that I think has the most lasting impact, and that is Hall of Fame autographs. It's really hard. Once you're a Hall of Famer, you're always a Hall of Famer, and they tend to hold their value pretty well, and they're just all the greats of the game, and to have something that they've touched or and signed is just just the neatest thing to me because I love the history of the game so much. And so what I'm going to do is show you a lot of my collection as far as Hall of Fame autographs go. I'm kind of scanning around some of the stuff I've set up to show you guys. And then I'll tell you some stories along the way. But Hall of Fame autographs really started for me seriously about two years ago. I went to the Texas Rangers Fan Fest and there was a autograph session with Fergie Jenkins and Gaylord Perry. And I saw Gaylord Perry there and I got this picture signed by him. And it was $20. And I said, wow, Hall of Famer for $20. I wonder how many I could get if I really started trying. And so that's what really started it for me. I've had some Hall of Famer autographs for a long time. And just a few, but n never really a focus of my collection. And so it became one. So let's start going through the collection a little bit, and I will explain things as we go. Over here is a 3,000 count box, 2,500 count box, 3,000 count box, whatever. And in here is all of my loose cards that aren't PSA or aren't big. They're just normal size cards. So I really loved the Topps 5 Star this year. And I got a whole lot of those. There's the Hank Aaron. Just awesome on-card autograph. Anytime you can get that, it's great. I've got three or four Aarons total. I really just love pretty much any of them. I'm not a big particular guy. I don't go, wow, I i got to have on card, or I've got to have a certain year, or a certain style. I just, if I like it, I get it. This is a really hard card. This is Roberto Alomar. This is SPX Force from 1997. And it's a big player collector card, because it's got Manny Ramirez, Pudge Rodriguez, and Juan Gonzalez on it. I originally acquired the card because I was a Juan Gonzalez collector. And it's numbered to 50, but it's really, I'm sorry, numbered to 100. But it seems really tough, and a lot of people, that's a pretty high demand card. Sparky. At first I started going for players. I thought, well, I'll just get all the players. Well, that soon turned to managers and umpires, executives. I've gotten a lot of Hall of Fame autographs from auctions. Huggins and Scott, uh, Memory Lane, etc. Those places are really great. You can typically pick up a huge lot of autographs like I did on these 61 FLIR cards, all on card, JSA certified. And I pick them up for probably around $17, $16, dollars a piece. And that's hard to argue with that kind of price point even if you already have them. There's plenty of Hall of Famers that you'll see. There's a Banks. Here's a Banks. That's a fantastic set. Upper Deck. Epic Signatures from Legends. And then I even like this kind of stuff. Even though it's, you know, the Hillshire Farms, Ernie Banks. I don't care. I still think it's cool. Al Barlick, Umpire. This is a custom card from one of the I think FCB members or blowout members, he made this of Johnny Bench. There's another Bench. I love this card because it's got the two greatest catchers ever, in my opinion. Johnny Bench and Pudge Rodriguez, number 20. Hey look, Johnny Bench. Look what it says. To Mike. Johnny Bench. This goes with another subset that I'm working on. I love the 84 Donruss Heroes. 84 or 85? I'm sorry, it's 83 Donruss 
Hall of Fame heroes. This was my first exposure to Hall of Famers were these cards because I started collecting in 81 and didn't really pay any attention to the history of the game. And by 83, I really learned a lot about these players and the fact that there are so many that you can get that are autographed is great. So there was Yogi, there's Yogi. Bert, be home by 11. To Mike, your friend, Bert Blylevin. I'm his friend, apparently. Boggs. It's my only Boggs autograph. Lou Bedrew. Some guy named George Brett. Just kidding. Brett. You notice they're all in alphabetical order. I am so anal about organizing. I don't like just throwing stuff around. There's Bunning. There's another Bunning. A lot of people rag on Leaf, but they've had some pretty good Hall of Famers for very, very reasonable price points. Carew from Fleer Greats of the Game. There's, there's the. I love the Cooperstown set, especially the signatures version. This was actually a replacement card. I don't know if you saw my rant on one of my threads. A replacement card for a Josh Hamilton Panini autograph numbered to 50. I got a Rod Carew numbered to 149. Leaf Monikers jersey, Rod Carew numbered to 50. Carlton. You also notice the Hall of Famers have really good autographs. They typically are much more legible than current players. There's Gary Carter. I have a lot of Cepeda because this stuff's cheap. Cepeda. Cepeda. Five star Cepeda. Joe Cronin. That's a tough card. It's um, SP History or SP Legendary Cuts. There's a lot of those that have fantastic cards on them. You can barely see it. He's autographed on a little scrap of newspaper that they've embedded in the card. The Cronin's tough. He's expensive. Dawson. I have a lot of Dawson because his stuff's cheap. Dawson. Dawson 5-star from this year. And I have a lot of Bobby Doerr. Man, that guy signed more than the president, I tell you. Bobby Door, Bobby Door. His stuff is really cheap. If you're patient, you can find it cheap. There's Door. I got Door and a lot of other stuff too. Eck, five star Eck. And it's really neat when you can get two Hall of Famers on one card. Always better. Two is better than one. And on an average cost basis, it's usually cheaper. So there's Eckersley and Suter. Feller's another very common signer. You see his stuff everywhere. So Feller. There's Feller as part of my 83 Hall of Fame Heroes set. Feller. Man, I gotta hurry because it's already eight minutes. Feller. Fingers. I just got this one at the Fan Fest this year for the Rangers. He was there. Even though he's never been a Ranger, he was there signing. And uh, I picked an 83 Donruss Diamond Kings card to get signed. Fingers. Fingers. God, I gotta hurry. Fisk. Fisk. Five star Fisk. Whitey Ford. Just love his signature. I love how he does his Y's at the bottom of the Whitey. Ford Frick, Commissioner, back in the day. Another SP Legendary Cuts, Ford Frick. Geringer, got his stuff's everywhere. Seems like he's in all sorts of stuff. There's my 83 Donruss Geringer. I'm only missing like three for that, to have all of those. I'm missing Mantle, Williams, uh, Joe Cronin. He died like only a couple of months after that came out, that set. So his are hard to find. I got quite a bit of Gibson. I really like him. I think he's a fantastic player. Um, let me move quicker. Warren Giles, Commissioner. Pat Gillick. Uh, and Pat Gillick. 
Hall of Fame executive. Lefty Gomez. On card. Gossage. There's my only Hank Greenberg, but it's on card. I love it. Burley Grimes, you can barely see that signature, but it's there. Ink pen, back before Sharpies were popular. Lefty Grove. Gwen, I love Gwen's signature. Tony Gwen, and I love the Heroes stuff. Gwen, Gwen Five Star. Jesse Haynes, Cut. Doug Harvey, Umpire. Whitey Herzog, Manager. Manager Herzog. Wait Hoyt. Hoyt. Okay, I've got to move so much faster. Alright. I'm going to set this down and just kind of show much quicker. Because I've got some really other cool stuff to show. So, let's see how I can do this quick. I'm going to set these like this. And just go Carl Hubble. Carl Hubble, 83 Donruss. Catfish. Monty Irvin. Reggie. 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 I got that one myself. On a 79 Tops and on an 82 Tops. It's there. It's in ink because I was a kid when I got it. So Didn't know better. Didn't know how to do it. Uh, Duel, again. Two's better than one. Travis Jackson, George Kelly. Um, Fergie, another Fergie, guess what, another Fergie, I got a lot of Fergie because he's a, he was a Ranger, so anytime I see his autograph in a Ranger's uniform, I'm going to try to get it, and there's another one, and there's another one, and guess what, there's another one, that's five star though, I got as many of the five stars as I could. K-Line, got that one myself when I was a kid. Noticed the ink pen. But it's a 58 Tops All-Star card. But K-Line, this year's 5-star. There's Kel. Here's one I was smart enough to get with a Sharpie when I was a kid. And that's Killabrew on card. 73 Tops. Another Killabrew. Hillshire Farms. Ralph Kiner, who I think signed more things than a lot of them. There's so many of them that just signed so much. Kiner again. Here's my 83 Donruss Kiner. Heroes. <coughs> and I love when Tops puts in. Okay, so there's the. This is 2012 Tops. Uh, Ralph Kiner sticker autograph. They're doing that this year with 2013, too, where these guys that have passed away, they have, you know abundance of stickers. I accidentally bought two of them and they were dirt cheap. I mean I think I picked them both up, each of them up I guess for ten bucks a piece or so. That's not a bad guy. Koufax. Larkin. Tommy Lasorda. Ernie Lombardi. He's tough. He's expensive. Ted Lyons with one of the worst autographs you'll ever see. It's just butchered. It's like he messed up the L three times. Heine Manouche. Another toughie. Juan Marichal. I've got several of him. Juan Marichal. Juan Marichal. Rube Marquardt. We're only on the M's. Just coming back over here. Again... To move fast, Eddie Matthews, Bill Mazeroski. Let me just see if there's any that just. There's Joe McCarthy, uh, manager for the Yankees. McCovey. It's a good duel. It's uh, Joe Medwick and Leo DeRocher. Number to 10. Johnny Mize. Paul Molitor. Paul Molitor. Five star Paul Molitor. Joe Morgan, Joe Morgan. Rest in peace, Mr. Stan. There's my 83 Donruss heroes, Stan Mutual. Tom Newhauser. Phil Necro, Necro. Jim 
Palmer, Tony Palmer, Tony Perez, Tony Perez, Gaylord Perry on card, Gaylord Perry, Jim Rice, Jim Rice, Jim Rice. Here's the other Rice that's much harder for Hall of Famer collectors, and that's Sam Rice. His stuff's expensive. Cal Ripken Jr. Phil Rizzuto, got that one myself. That's a 54 Bowman card that I got a long time ago. Uh, the card's in really good shape. The autograph's beautiful. He has a wonderful autograph. Robin Roberts, Robin Roberts, Brooks Robinson, Brooks Robinson. Another one that I got as a kid. Brooks Robinson, 62 Tops All-Star card. Again, silly me. Regular ink. Frank Robinson. It's not a bad Frank Robinson right there, since that's his rookie card. 57 Tops. Frank Robinson. Autographed. Uh, five star. Ed Roush. Red Ruffing, another toughie. Oh, Nolan Ryan, he's all right. Ryan Sandberg. Sandberg. Santo. Ray Shock. God, he's a hard autograph. Very hard. Schmidt. 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 Oh, why not? Another Schmidt. Red Shindis. Red Shindice, whatever you say it. Uh, Seaver. Here's a toughie. George Schistler. God, he was good. So many of these older players are so underweight rated in slaughter. Ozzy. A great one. Ozzy and Michael Young. So Hall of Famer, which is PC for me, and Michael Young, which is PC for me. The Duke. Duke has a 2013 Topps Series 1 autograph, which I think is hilarious. Duke Snyder. Duke Snyder. Here's my Hall of Fame heroes. Duke Snyder. Warren Spawn, one of the best ever. Willie Papa Stargell. Another Stargell. Suter. Don Sutton. Don Sutton. I mean, really, if you're if you like baseball cards at all, you should really consider having a Hall of Fame or autograph portion to your collection because they're just literally timeless. I mean, most people don't know who Bill Terry is, but it's really interesting to find out about all these players and what they contributed to the game. Lloyd Wayner. His brother, Paul Wayner, also played and is in the Hall of Fame and is an impossible autograph to find. Not impossible, just very expensive. Earl Weaver, God rest his soul. Zach Wheat, another tough autograph. That one's to Billy, and I'm not Billy. Hoyt Wilhelm. Wilhelm. Billy Williams. Billy Williams. Oh, wait. Billy Williams. That's five stars. Uh, Richard Williams, don't call me Dick. Another Penis Williams. There's uh, some guy, other guy named Williams. He was a pretty good hitter. This is a 60 Fleer card signed. Again, an ink, all point ink. You know, I also like the Leaf Memories cards this year, from 2012 anyway. And that's the Winfield. It's numbered to 31, which is a nice card. It's on card. Autograph. There's another Winfield. The Yaz. Carl Yastrzemski. On card. <coughs> Excuse me. Carl Yastrzemski. On card. Five star. Robin Yount. Upper Deck Premier. Okay. So that's just kind of the loose ones that I have. I also tend to pick up a lot of these uh, in auctions and stuff. I will get 
these uh, Cooperstown cards that are all on card, obviously, and they use these a lot for cuts. And I'm going to try to get where it's not going to be glaring too bad, but I don't know if I can win with that. Since they're all in pages, I keep them all in pages. Um, and they're all alphabetical. Again, my anal retentiveness comes out. And I've got Aparicio and Appling and Avril and Banks and two cool Papa Bells and Yogi Berra. A lot of these are specifically JSA, although I always get them JSA uh, for the lot if I buy them. Lou Bedrew, Lou Brock, Max Carey. Tough Autograph, Happy Chandler, uh, Earl Combs, that's my only Earl Combs, he is tough, he was a Yankee, back in the 20's and 30's, Jocko Conlin, Ump, Bobby Doerr again, Bob Feller again, Rick Farrell again, uh, Whitey Ford, Charlie Geringer, Gibson, Jesse Haynes, Billy Herman, Wait Hoyt, uh, Carl Hubble, always signed at the bottom. I always found that interesting. Monty Irvin, Travis Jackson, Judy Johnson, Judy Johnson, Al Kaline, George Kell, George Kelly, uh, Harmon Killebrew, Ralph Kiner, Bob Lemon, Buck Leonard, Buck Leonard again, and Freddie Lindstrom. I love the old... Uh, Cooperstown cards before they made them the the yellow that they are now. Al Lopez, Ted Lyons, Lee McPhail, Eddie Matthews, Willie McCovey, Johnny Mize, Stan Musial, Lefty Gomez, Pee Wee Reese, Robert Roberts, Brooks Robinson, Brooks Robinson, Frank Robinson, Ed Roush, Joe Sewell, Ina Slaughter, Snyder, Spawn, Stargell, Terry, Wilhelm, Williams, Wynn, and Juan Marshall on a, that's a 64, that, the Topps Giants cards, whatever they called them. I'm going to try to get where you can see that on card with a Sharpie. So those are my postcards, which I think are just very collectible, and especially when you get so many of them, they really look good together. Now on to the, some of the funner stuff. Um, I got a couple checks, only two. Uh, that's a Harry Hooper check. And this is a Ty Cobb check. That's slabbed, PSA, DNA certified, a near mint eight. It's a check that he wrote to his uh, phone company for $228. I don't know if you can see that. That's a lot back in 1955 for your phone bill. And then some other stuff that I showed on my first video that was in my case that I kind of pulled out just so you could see it. All these are slabbed, uh, except for the Dickey. The rest of them are slabbed. Warren Spawn, Pee Wee Reese, Ted Williams, Mantle. There's a Rick Farrell. These are some exhibits cards from the 40s. Uh, there's Musual, Richie Ashburn, Phil Rizzuto, Red Ruffing, Mark Ward, some other stuff. Chick Hafey, Joe Gordon, manager, Bucky Harris, manager. I got quite a few of the Leaf Sports Icons cards. I got Musual. And that's actually a double-sided with Stan Kovaleski on the back. You know, it's numbered to 14. Um, I got a lot of PSAs, as you can see. I showed these earlier. There's a Puckett, JSA, and Al Lopez. Bill Terry, um, a whole lot of other stuff. I've also got a ton of these postcards. I mean, just, not postcards, I guess, 3 by 5 cards signed. I mean, there's literally dozens and dozens of them. Um, some of them, that's my only autograph for that uh, Hall of Famer, but most of them, they're all dupes, trips, quads of different Hall of Famers that I'd like to use for some custom cards at some point. So I'm going to let you guys go right now. I'm going to do another video on another special item, which is right there. And I will explain that item in another video coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.